This was the second time we took on Fleetwood Town this season. It was the second time you've seen Adam Armstrong in a Blackburn Rovers shirt. And Richie Smallwood was the second of the Blackburn Rovers goal scorers today. And did I tell you we are now second in the league? I'll leave this right here. Right, folks, back once again with another match review. This time, picking apart the massive it was a massive away victory against Fleetwood Town. We'll talk more about that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, might as well hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. We are getting to party time. Well, maybe a little bit early for party time, but we're second in the table. That's all that matters. It might be on goal difference, but that doesn't matter. If the season ended today, we'd be going up, baby. That's right, folks. Anyway, let's start picking apart the match. 2-1 winners at Highbury. Not the Arsenal Highbury, but Fleetwood Town Highbury. And it was a, it was Bradley Dack opening up the scoring on the 28th minute before going into halftime and 1-0 up. All things were nice and easy. We looked amazing. We were very threatening. Chances were coming thick and fast from all angles. Uh, Charlie Mogul had a couple, couple of free kicks. Um, but that didn't really amount to much. And then out in the second half, a defensive howl, I believe... I believe, I'm not too sure, but I believe it was our left back. Maybe he's under a little bit of pressure because we just got a, a new left back. We'll talk more about that later on. But maybe he's under a little bit of under pressure. He's playing at Fleetwood Town, the home of our, or the last home of our new uh, left back. Maybe there's a little bit of pressure, but I think Derek Williams kind of passed it back towards Raya. And there was a big old howler. They, they, they did something like that early in the season. I think so. I think it's Doncaster or Southend. One of the early games. Um... Bad error. Got themselves back into it. McCallany was the guy, 55th minute. And we were on tenterhooks. I didn't know if it was going to come. And I was trying to do the maths because I saw the other scores. I thought, it's not going to be good enough. We're going to winning. And at that point, Shrewsbury were winning. So it looked kind of a bit, bit, bit worryful, uh, wor worrisome even. But up stepped the man, the myth, the legend, Richie Smallwood, with what could be one of the goals of the season. Uh, with a rocket on the 83rd minute. Anyway, let's take a little bit closer at the statistics. Look at that for possession. 62% dominated by Blackburn Rovers. Another away tie. 19 shots, 7 of them on target, 7 corners to Fleetwood Zip. Obviously, we were a little bit dirtier, but not too much. But a really comprehensive display by Blackburn Rovers away from home. Let's take a look at the lineups. This is our host. Neil, Coyle, Bolger, Eastham, Jones filled in at left back. Diagoras, Schwabel, Dempsey, Madden, Cole, and Burns. Uh, that might not be exactly how they lined up, but that's the names that was on the team sheet. As for Blackburn Rovers, we were like this. It was an unchained 11 from the last big victory, which was up against Shrewsbury. Ryer and Gold, Naimbi Downing, Mulgrew, Williams, Dak, Smallwood, Bennett, Conway, Samuel, and Big DG up front. And this is my ratings for the players. Ryan with an 8. Naimbi with a 7. Danning with a 7. Mulgrew with a 7. Williams with a 6. Dak with an 8. Smallwood with an 8. Bennett with a 6. Conway with a 6. Samuel with a 6. And Graham with a 7. Another man in the match performance. Not too sure. was actually on the fence with this one. Between Bradley Dak and Richard Smallwood. Uh, both on the score sheet. Obviously Smallwood does a lot of the nitty gritty. Doesn't get much, much of the plaudits. So I'm giving it to him today and despite how amazing Bradley Dak is I still think Richie Smallwood is my first name on the team sheet I think he's he's undroppable he's a, such a soldier the fans have got behind him that song it gives them a big boost and I think it gives the rest of the players a big boost because when they start hearing that song they know they're doing pretty good um, anyway cracking performance another three points an important three points because I felt if we'd if we'd won which we did or beat Shrewsbury um, last weekend and then come here to Fleetwood and stumble I thought uh, that would have just killed momentum and killed kind of uh, all the hard work that would have gone into the week before but now back-to-back -back wins is great and I think we've got back-to-back -back home games coming up so it's the destiny and the futures in Blackburn Rovers hands so hopefully we can now get uh, just just start plowing through these next couple of home games and get six out of six, maybe cement our position in that second spot. Because we're only there on the skin of our teeth right now. And we're still five points adrift of Wigan, but we do have to play them at Ewood Park later on in the season. And that game could, I didn't want it to be this, but that game could be a monumental point of the season where the actual uh, League One Championship trophy goes. Anyway, 
They've heard a little bit of what I've had to say. Here's what the gaffer had to say about Richie Smallwood's screamer and the match itself. Yeah, I think so. I think they're all big three points, aren't they? I think it was deserved. I think it would have been really hard on us if we hadn't got three points today after the performance of the first half, at, um, where I thought the game could have been out of, out of sight. But um, almost shot ourselves in the foot, you know, giving them a goal, really. But, um, but we got there in the end, and I think we deserved it over the piece. A few errors in there, really. I think I think Derek laid it back too hard for Charlie. Charlie should have tried to play it forward first time. He turned round, he played his bad pass back to the keeper. The keeper got caught in no man's land. A few mistakes, really. But um, listen, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's frustrating to lose goals. I think it's important for the team to keep clean sheets. And um, put it to another really, really tricky hurdle out the way. Yeah, listen, I, I thought it was probably as controlling of the game we've had this season away from home. I think. Um, I think you know they had one long-range shot. I think straight into David's midriff. Apart from that, they didn't get near our goal. And a massive part of their game is set plays and corner kicks, and they didn't get the opportunity to get any corner kicks really because the um, they weren't they weren't in our half for most of the first half. And it's nice. There was a lot of shouts today. I, think they, I fell out with the fourth official a little bit today. I think. Um, as you get older, you, you, you understand it. What's the point of falling out with officials and? Um, Arguing about penalties, but it looked pretty clear cut to me. It, um, but never mind. It doesn't matter. And, and ultimately, standing here now, we've we've won the game. We've sent an amazing support home, happy hopefully, and um, and, and full of confidence. Yeah, I think so. I think him and Bennett have, you know, that's two games together. Really, the balance is looking good. They're pretty immense, really, at, at um, keeping teams locked in, high intensity. Um, Getting around the ball in, in, in 50 50s and breakdowns, and, and having a desire to want to come out on top, and um, keeping the ball going to the opposition goal in that direction generally. And pleased for Richie. Um, so when we when we needed a second goal, you know, as I've said over recent weeks, the big players have been coming to the fore, and Richie Smallwood is a big player for us, and he came to the fore today. No, no, the players are driving this team really. I'm just trying to pick the right team and trying to um, give them a bit of inspiration along the way. I think they um, they know. They know the demands of this club and playing for this club in this division. And um, so, you know, 19 massive games to go. We're just looking forward to the next one and, um, and see where it takes us. I think ultimately that was the that was the um, the call really that they did so well last week. You know, Armstrong's here. I think Armstrong just adds that attacking threat. You know, some games I will play four real goal threats on the pitch at the same time and hope that we can behind the ball be really solid and good and um, just keep feeding them you know so we have lots of options now you know Antonison still to get fit but Samuel's showing he can play off the right no problem Dak and Danny and, and Armstrong off this side and yet some games as I've said to you in the past you know a Conway or a Bennett type of player who plays wide you need to nullify strengths of an opposition and at times we'll have to do that as well. They've heard what I've had to say, they've heard what the gaffers had to say, what the fans and what the players been saying. They've been in full voice on social media. Here we go, Ryan Ayimbi. Another game, another win. Top two, brilliant performance from the boys today. Derek Williams said, great first half today, tough second, but did what we needed to do and grinded it out. Hell of a goal from Richard Smallwood. Great turnout for the fans. Meanwhile, Dominic Samuel said, great team performance, top two. The fans, loving it. Harry Chapman. Just said this, the king of Ewood, Loveheart Richie Smallwood. He, it could be, there's rumours of him, his contract's running out, he might be making his way over to Ewood. Not a permanent deal, but a long way to talk about that. That's something for, for later on, uh, well, down the road to talk about, but it could be exciting times. Anyway, David Ryan said this, great, great win today to get us into the top two. Fans were exceptional again. Big bad boy Bradley Dax said this, finally into the top two, great away performance and the fans were brilliant as always. Got us over the line today, on to the next one now, we don't stop. Meanwhile, the fans are also in, in stellar voice, up to second, Mowbray is taking us up, that was Matthew Grimshaw. Meanwhile, Craig Harden said 16 games unbeaten and two home games coming up, fist pump. Brody Scott said this, what a good day. Up to second as Shrewsbury dropped points and Rovers snatching a win through a small wood wonder strike. If you haven't seen the goals, wait for the highlights to pop up early in the morning because I'll be there too because it was a belter. Meanwhile, Rob Hay says, we will catch Wigan yet for top spot. Good result. Meanwhile, Frank Andrews, three brilliant and well-deserved points. Shrews only draw and we moved second onwards and upwards. Meanwhile, Marky Mark says, 55 points, reckon we're safe. So a bit of a bit of a cheesy comment there. Anyway, meanwhile, Marcus Slinger said, "Great win, second now. 
Wigan in our sights. Meanwhile, Sam Pickup, maybe getting relegated from the championship, could have been a blessing in disguise. No doubt in my mind that we will win this league, and with the way we are playing at the minute, we are too big of a club for this league. The unbeaten run continues. Meanwhile, Alex Copeland said, every single person who went today, you were amazing. I know Smallwood got the goal, but you guys assisted it. I love you all, and Wigan, we are after you. Meanwhile, Damian Roberts said this, well, it was only a matter of time before we got into the top two. That's automatics taken care of. Just you lot to fight out for the playoffs. He was having a little comment to the rest of the teams and the fans of the other sides. Meanwhile, Bet365 posted this little bad boy, Blackburn Rovers updated league form. Woo, look at all them. I don't even know how many that is now. That's a, a heck of a number. Bradley Dyke being Bradley Dyke. Smallwood Thunderbolt, second in the table. Meanwhile, a true rover said this. A superb result today. On fire at the moment with a frightening level of squad depth for this division. On we go. Meanwhile, Kelly Sibley said great win for Rovers today to take us up into second place and into the automatic promotion places. What a run we're on. Let's keep it going. And finally... Rovers tweet said this, some say Richie Small strikers only just landed somewhere in the East Atlantic. Meanwhile, Tony Mowbray, the gaffer, said, I hear it set off the early warning missile alert in Hawaii at 5.15 this evening. That's the second time that's gone off this week. Hashtag false alarm. Let's go around the grounds and take a look what's been happening to our opposition. Uh, so most importantly, Shrewsbury. Well, well, well. Has the bubble burst or is it just a little hiccup? 2-2 two, two draw at home to Doncaster. Meanwhile, Wigan pulled up a comfortable 3-1 away win at Plymouth. Meanwhile, Bradford City losing away to Bristol Rovers. Who else are we after? Scunthorpe United also lost at home 3-1 to Gillingham. Who else is in the mix? Charlton? Uh, where are they? They picked up a 3-1 win, so they keep up their, their playoff promotion push, as do Rotherham with a 1-0 win against Portsmouth. Well, 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 what a stonking week it's been for Blackburn Rovers. Very active in the transfer market, bringing in Jack Payne, bringing in Amari Bell, um, which I didn't really get to mention much about. Amari Bell, quality left back, being he was being chased by a number of championship clubs, Cardiff, who were battling at the top end of the table, was sniffing around earlier on, but bailed due to for whatever reason. But that just goes to show what kind of quality teams were sniffing around in Mario Bell. And in the end, comes the Blackburn Rovers on a two and a half year deal. I think the deal's around about £300,000 in and around about the same amount we paid for Derek Williams. Um, and it just gives us another option. Meanwhile, going out the doors, young Sam Hart, which was our current Back up left back. He's on his way to Rochdale. I was going to do my first over Rovers roundup today, which kind of uh, has a quick glance at some of our players that might be on loan. Um, he is the only recognised player of first team stature anyway that's gone out on loan. So that game got canned. So next time we'll do a Rovers roundup and just check out how Sam Hart is getting on with his loan move. But that's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. It's been a whirlwind of a week. And most importantly, we've hit that number two spot. Before I get going, if you haven't done so already and you're new to the channel, might as well hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you back up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. The games are gonna start getting more and more important. Next cup fire was just around the corner. Just wanna give a big shout out to the guys at the BRFCS forum. If you haven't checked out that forum, make sure you do so. It's a great opportunity for you to chat with fellow Rovers fans. There's some cracking blog posts out there, some excellent Rovers writers. I wish I was a writer. I'm more of a, uh, I don't know what the heck I am. But I'm, I, I'm just me, I just, I just, I say what I feel, uh, and so does the cat. And the cat, speaking of the cat, she had a nightmare with this one predicting Fleetwood with the win. So she's on the naughty step, and I think I put her in the corner with Luna, and she's giving her a what for right now because of what she said about the Fleetwood game. Anyway, there'll be more from Cass, there'll be more from me in the next few days, so stand by for the next one. Until then, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now. Thanks again for watching, please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button, it'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.